again everyone, how are you all, hope you're all well. The Spectrum has gone, well for a short period of time anyway. I've got my Commodore 64 out, so you can tell, slightly different Commodore 64, um, it's in a black case. What this is, is I was given a broken C16 um, and I had a spare board lying around, so I've done a board swap, changed the keys over and everything else, changed the badge, so it looks really nice. You do have to modify the back a little bit for the ports. But don't worry, nothing was wasted. That board from the C16 went on to fix other computers, so don't like to waste things. Anyway, today we're going to re review Arcade Days. And this is a really fun um, sort of, well, arcade game really, because what it is, is you've got to walk around the floor around here, picking up the coins so you can actually go and play the arcade games that are all dotted around the room. The game's finished when you've played all the games and got high scores. So, although I've not got that far yet, you, there's a weird cat for some reason. You've got to avoid this woman. I assume it's your mom trying to stop you playing the arcade games, like they always used to. Um, and a bit of a disclaimer, though, with this. We are going to be playing this on a black and white TV. One, nostalgia reasons. Two, I am colorblind, um, so it's kind of how it looks to me normally anyway. Uh, I do struggle. I, I know a lot of people really love the Commodore 64, but with the way I'm colorblind, I struggle with a color palette, and that's not a joke. People think I'm taking the mick. Um, it's kind of why I like the Spectrum more, because it's really in your face. Um, and if everyone's going to say anything about the CPC, until about two years ago, I only ever played the CPC on the green screen. So I must admit, when I first saw the colour on the Commodore, uh, not Commodore 64, the Amstrad CPC, blown away. Um, and two, the other reason is the TV we're playing it on. Commodore 64 is prized, uh, loved. You know what I mean? Everyone really loves the sound chip. You know what I mean? The music that's written on it is really, really good. So I thought I would use a TV that sort of shows off that music in the best way possible. When you see the TV, you'll understand what I mean. So let's scroll up, and hopefully you can hear this properly. Reveal the uh, Panasonic Boombox TV. Hope this doesn't come through too loud. But if you can see on here, look how, how little I'm actually moving it up. That's probably gonna to be too loud. Such good sound out of this. One thing I like about this, we'll have a quick look, is look at the buttons on this thing. I mean, I can switch over to the radio. Um, with this switch here, we're gonna go to your tape as well. You do have a tape player on that side. It doesn't pass the dad test. You know what I mean. Um, when you open it, it jumps and then goes into the slot. See, it's got a bit of a jerky movement. That definitely wouldn't pass the dad test, would it? Still looks cool, that. Anyway, enough talking about this TV, I, but I do absolutely love it. This TV, apparently, the guy who got it off, used to be his TV in his caravan. Can you imagine going on holiday and this was your TV, this was your radio, this was everything. Cutting edge. Right, anyway, the game. I would say I'd zoom in a little bit, but oh, I like this. It's framing it quite nicely. Um, you've got, you've got kiddie mode, master mode, and practice mode. Practice mode lets you just play the arcade games. Uh, kids mode, quite simple. Master mode, you've got to really avoid stuff. So, don't sue me. I'm going for the kiddie mode. Get ready. Oh, we are playing through RF as well. That's why we're getting these lines on the screen. Um, I do need to order a new scar. For some reason, my scar is not uh, as broken when I come to plug my Commodore 64 in. Oh, got a coin. What, what should we play first? Let's play this one. Oh no, I've got to, I forgot, I've got to change my coins to tokens. There we are. I think that's what I've got to do anyway. Yeah, there we are. Get ready. So you just go and play the arcade games. Oh. I like the music. So each one will have a high score that you've got to get to. Master mode is you've got to obviously get a higher score in these arcade games. I think I've just got to collect all three of these. I did the one before and I only had to collect two. So we'll go, we'll go around a couple of the arcades. Oh yeah, see, only got to get two, well done. Because this is the kids mode, obviously the arcade games that we're playing are quite simple. 
Uh, I should still have some credits left, so let's go and play... Well, can I play the grab machine? No, I can't play the grab machine. Need more coins. See, now I've got to avoid the cat. Don't know why there's hell there's a cat. Oh, she got me. Did she take all the money off me as well? I think she probably did. Yeah. She stole my tokens. Let's play this one. What's this one then? Oh, like a space invaders. But they're like balloons. I like the music. Um, a little bit slower. That you, you can tell that like they're they're themed on games, but they're not quite. I'm looking over the camera, here, trying to. Oh, are they speeding up? They are. Could I hit him three times? Is it? And God, the original Space Invaders wasn't like that. What was your favourite arcade machine back in the day? Um, the one that really sticks in my head, it wouldn't be on here, um, is actually the... Oh, I got shot. Is the Simpsons game. And I think I've mentioned... Oh, failed. Oh, well. God, I still have to come back and play that one again. But, oh, did you see the... Now, this one here says, well done. Um, that means I've completed that one. Don't need to go back to it again. Um, let's have a look. What does some... I mean, I'm sure that one up there looks like Pac-Man. This one here. If you count it, though, there's actually quite a lot of arcade games in here. I mean, I'm sure a couple of them are, are the same game, just like it's like a different spaceship or something. Tokens, I've got tokens, plenty of them. Let's get to one that looks like Pac-Man. Let's see how this one plays. They look like some angry ghost. Not the best playing Pac-Man. Um, but I've played a lot worse. The music. Go on, let's get him. I wonder how many you've actually got to get. We're going to clear the whole screen. Got him. It is a fun little idea, though, isn't it? This it's like having a game that's just basically a game compilation, but you've got to go and. get me he's gonna get me no he's not oh do you know what? I'm lacking on here that warp zone the pipe that gets you out to the other side there we are cleared it up now I really hope you can hear this music properly I don't want I don't want to get it too loud oh oh, oh she's coming after me oh, that was quick have oh, I still got tokens I have Hey, see, now this is one that's very similar to one I played before, but a different ship. What is the game? I, I have played this on the Spectrum. Can anyone tell me what this game's modelled off? I'm sure it was an old... Was it an ultimate play of the game? Oh, I don't know. Hey, you done, I nearly did too. Some of them are a hell of a lot quicker than others. Uh, this one here looks like Frogger. Yep, definitely a frogger clown. Oh, it doesn't really help the black and white on this. <laughs> Music definitely changes up a bit. Oh, I'm stuck. I need to get onto a different log. Oh, they don't. They're not very good. The, with the logs overlapping. Got it. Got one home. They look like some angry. Come on, get it, get it. That one. See, they go the same direction. They should be going the other direction, shouldn't they? Because otherwise, you just get stuck. Like. Yeah, that will work. Oh, too eager. I 
Hopefully I haven't got to get all four of these across. Oh, come on. I got stuck. Yeah, the, this one hasn't been programmed very well for a Frogger game. Too many of them don't line up. Oh, John, I'm done with this one. Let's get out of here. Failed. I'm good. <laughs> I don't like that Frogger game. Uh, should we try one more game? I don't know how many lives we've got left. Two lives or two coins? Or two tokens? Um, what should we try? This one down here. Oh, is it is a centipede, is it? Oh, I'm, I'm already going. I do miss good arcade games, like proper old school arcade games. Do you know, it's one of the reasons why I really, I mean, we've got the Blackpool Game Expo coming up like literally two weeks time. And I am really looking forward to playing some proper old school, like Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, um, you know, those kind of, those kind of games. Well done. You just keep, keep papers for a while. It's probably not a great spectator um, one. This, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'd, I'd recommend going to get this. Um, that looks like Frogger again, doesn't it? No, oh, I'm playing this one. No, oh, I was playing that one. Oh, ready, last life. Stole all my coins again, haven't you? Yeah, the token machine is flashing. Ready. I am ready. Oh, oh, what's this one? Oh, it is. I thought I was getting stuck back up. So, yeah, the games are getting a bit repetitive. I bet it's uh, a lot harder when you are playing um, the expert mode. I just feel like I said genuinely just feel like I'm in the arcade walking around having fun. Like you used to do, at right? Simpler times. Except it wasn't somebody coming and stealing your tokens, it was somebody telling you, time's up, gotta go on. Like most people though, I think we're playing a lot of arcades on holiday. A lot of arcades on holiday. It's Catman. <laughs> I think we should finish on Catman. Uh, they, they, they've tried to mix it up and vary it a little bit, but it's the same game, isn't it? <laughs> same sounds. Yeah, you kill both of them. What do you think of the TV then? Oh, that got very flashy then. I just noticed on the actual screen. Oh, but it hasn't been like that all the way through. I've not been looking at the camera. Oh, no, 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 I thought. Get away, get away. Oh, come on. I want to go that way. I'll beat ya. I did not manage cat cat just stunned you. I could have got away. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, oh, let me turn it down a bit. So that is. Hang on, there we are. Arcade days. A very fun little um, arcade star game. Um, bit of fun. I think it could have done with a few more styles of arcade games but then again this is running on a commodore 64 from a tape so like how many actual games could you cram into it so yeah it can't figure it for that it can't you know slate it for that we can figure it that's what we're trying to say 
Right, arcade days. Definitely a fun one. Go and pick it up. And should I continue doing more reviews with this TV, or should I just change it for a colour one? Um, oh, second. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. I was playing on kiddie mode though, wasn't I? Um, I do have quite a few Commodore 64 games to review coming up, and I'm trying to find. Oh, we've got this one next, and this is really fun. Um, but this one deserves a colour TV. I mean, come on, it's called Rainbow's Edge. <laughs> Feels like a mobile game. Um, it really does, but in a good way. And this one as well, because this has just got some great music. Right, that's enough of me waffling for a bit. I will, um, I'll catch you next time. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.